Now then, when Indians come to live in Britain, they choose to settle in Southall or Birmingham, which leads us to believe that Southall and Birmingham must be better than India. Well, let's have a look. This is Birmingham, right? Pretty <laughs> rotty. And here's Southall. <laughs> And this is what they left behind. <laughs> the highway code over there contains just one piece of advice. Look out. <laughs> now, part of the problem is that Hindus believe in fatalism, that whatever will be, will be. So if you pull out to overtake and have a head-on crash, it was your day to die. There is nothing you could have done to prevent it. And the man you hit while overtaking? Well, it was his day to die as well, <laughs> along with all the passengers on his bus. That's magnificent. It totally frees you up from any sense of responsibility. You could drive like a maniac. And it gets better because to a Hindu, dying is no big deal. You'll simply be reincarnated as something else. Just last week, this was Mrs <laughs> Surinder Patel of Acacia Avenue, Bombay. <laughs> And, yes, here's the man she crashed into, Mr... <laughs> Mr Rashid from the post office. <laughs> There's something I've always wanted to know and I've never got it. This, right? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> what is that? What? Achar. What? Achar. What's achar? You know, it means yes and no. <laughs> because we Indians are very polite. You don't want to hurt anybody. You can take it anywhere you like. <laughs> but the awful thing is, is you go to a railway station, is this the right uh, platform for, to go to Calcutta? <laughs> well... <clears throat> <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> well, it means if you are looking for this train, it could be here. If you're looking for the other train, it may not be here. <laughs>